It's your boy and I'm back again. So today we've got a very special Bentley, which is the Bentley Malzahn. This is the speed that comes in this beautiful Titan grey. The colour is so beautiful. So this is the last of the Malzahn. And with this car, it's available at Bentley in your car. So guys, I'll leave the link for that just down below. This car is £135,000, which is a lot of money, but it's a 2019 car, which means it is still brand new and it also gets... You know, um, the updated grille, as you guys can see, you've got this massive grille. What I do like as well is how the car is different. So you've got the flying lady, or whatever you want to call it, flying spare. As you guys can see, that's the specification there. I've got the lights turned on for the daytime when the lights in the very beautiful. It looks like a statesman, like a very elegant diplomat kind of car. So you've got this very massive chrome wheels which have got the black calipers as well then you've also got the b on the side as well plenty of chrome this thing is absolutely huge you've got the sunroof at the top there i would prefer a panoramic roof but i do like the interior you've got that cream interior which is fantastic this size of this the length this is i think well over 5.35 meters when i sat inside and i was just trying to you know get myself comfortable the bonnet was just long as you guys can see, you've got the hips there, which we know from Bentley. Then you've also got the B on the back lights. Again, I love lights. I had to get them on. Just the back of this. Everything is just so clean and flush. You've also got the dual exhaust on the back there. I'm just going to check the boot space as I try to open it with failure, of course. Press it again, and there we are. So that is the boot space there. I do like the umbrellas on the back there in that lovely British racing green. I like the wood as well. And then this does take a little bit of time. So you can tell this is an older system. So now we're going to focus on the inside. On the back there, this is not the long wheelbase. By the way, guys, just to specify, this is the speed version. So you've got the carbon fiber, but then you've also got the quilting. I do like that combination. So you've got this cigarette. That's the cigarette ash bin, whatever you want to call it. Then you've also got the carpet on the side. Then you've got the name sound system. Then you've also got the Malzion branding as well. Then you've got that two-seat configuration there with the center armrest with the cup holders. So it does feel a bit dated. It does feel a bit older compared to, you know, the latest flying spur. Then you've also got this. So the TV is hideaway, so I couldn't get this open. There was a button on the side, which I'll show you in a couple of seconds when I get inside. But then you've got that tray so you can do your work. Put your laptop on there and just do your work. Then you've also got this center armrest as well. So when you slide that back, then you also get the seat positions that you can configure. You've got massaging seats. You've also got heated as well as cooled seats as well. Your cup holders, they could be bigger though. You know, that's the only thing I've got complaints for. Then you've also got your 10 inch screens on the back there. So I'm sitting in the back. I'm six foot tall. And you guys can see I've got a lot of space there. Again, with the tray, everything feels very expensive and comfortable. Whatever seems like it's wood, leather, and metal, it is definitely just that. That is the button there, guys. So when you press it, then it brings up the screen as the one on the left-hand side is. And then you've also got the organs as well there, which I do love as well. Then you've also got the metallic uh, air vents as well. Again, you know, everything is just top quality. This car just looked brand new. There is a few marks, you know, on the chairs which you'd expect for a car of this age. Then you've also got your vanity mirror on the back as well, so you can check your makeup and just check yourself before you get to the event. And then you've also got your hand holders on the side there. Everything just feels top notch. This car has got a 6.75 litre engine, which makes about 530 horsepower, And it's got a ton of torque, which means you can just, you know, move from standstill and just get up to speed it's a wafter so on the front here guys I, this car's got an acre of buttons so as you guys can see you've got the center screen there you've also got the analog um system as well so it's not digital unfortunately it does feel a bit dated the screen is too small for my liking then you've also got buttons you've got a lot of buttons there so you've got that little tray there in the middle there so you can put your change in there then you've also got your different instrument um things there so i think one of them was showing the campus one of them was showing the fuel as well and then you've also got your usual aircon then that's your start button that's your parking brake as well 
then we'll just check the glove compartment. Again, I do like that carbon fiber as well as the gloss black and the light interior. You've even got a DVD player. That's how all this car is. So just taking the car all in, I would say this is a car for an older gentleman that appreciates, I think, just older cars which have got that status that are more luxurious. I myself would prefer a flying spare as it's nice and modern. So yeah, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching.